Hi guys, it's me, Elon, and today I have an early flight and maybe you can guess where I'm going or I can just tell you. Well, I'm going to Madrid to visit my family and friends, so let me take you guys with me there. It has been months or it has been quite a while since I visited Madrid and this time I cannot wait to visit my family and friends and the city so we will see how it goes. And after 4 hours with this view I'm finally the metro it feels like I am still living here as I can still remember how to use the metro and cannot wait to see my family and friends and explore the city in the next coming days and in the evening we went to this Japanese fusion restaurant with my boyfriend and my best friend to have some dinner and then we grab a taxi to go to our friend's workplace to visit him and to see how it goes. So another cool thing when you visit Madrid in December are these various street lights. I mean, look at them. They just light up the whole city and basically they really add that holiday spirit vibes. So we finally arrived in our friend's workplace and he is currently serving my boyfriend a cocktail which I forgot the name but thank you Jude for making this cocktail and the other cocktails for us. So you might want to check this out. It's called a uh, Yam House in Madrid. And when we were waiting for our friend Jude, we stumbled upon this Japanese vending machine and tried getting a drink, which was Pablo's first time encountering this drink. And I remember solely this drink was somehow complicated to open. And so let's just say we made fun of him, but in the end he was able to figure it out. Then we went to this bar to somehow have some drinks and to basically welcome me back in Madrid and this ends my first day. Good morning guys, it's day 2 here in Madrid. Today, I will just try to take you guys with me with my boyfriend later on. We will have some errands and some things to check out here in Madrid. So I'll take you guys with us. So yeah, I'm in one of the streets to where I stay. I stay with my parents because we have a flat here. So today is, I believe, it's... 10 40 in the morning and i am going to buy some stuff that i want to take with me when i go back home to slovakia and this is what i miss here in madrid just strolling around the city and admiring the architecture and the street designs 
And as a self-confessed bag addict, I always cannot help myself but to admire these bags on every window shops. Enjoying at El Turismo. And we had dumplings for appetizer. He is now an expert of CC. We had uh, ordered CC. This is Tosino. How CC? Serrano, we're going to the shop where we got my niece's Christmas gift like two years ago. What street? I forgot. Currently walking to find a mall because we're in search of gifts for my niece and other gifts for family members. Okay, so we're already here in a toy shop and it's kind of like overwhelming, but we have a gift already in mind. But we're trying to look for it. We'll see if we can find it here. So he finds it amusing. <laughs> On to searching. So we found it. But the next dilemma is we don't know which one should we choose. The classic one. Or the Rainbow Edition, right? So the options are. So oh, just these two, I guess. Oh no! Oh yes. So there's just like two options: a classic hamster one or the Rainbow Edition one. Which one do you prefer? We then head off to El Corte Inglés to buy some more gifts. Budget. What's our budget for Dior perfume? <laughs> Christmas gift. You know, for this, it's Paco Robbani. <laughs> He's shocked with the prices of luxury bags. But they all look so cool. Bukerni bags. Very much suited for this festive season. Yeah, you're getting me one. <laughs> That's a doll. Mark Jacobs. Cute tote bag. Then I came across to Tory Birch and I found this bag which has also been in my wish list but then my mini bonbon bag already somehow filled that empty hole with me but then I am still eyeing this bag. So we just finished gift shopping and we're heading home to wrap up those gifts. Good morning guys so it's day three I believe here in Madrid and today I basically am meeting my cousin to have breakfast and later tonight I'll be meeting my friends and we will see how it goes tonight but today there's not that much things that I'll be doing so we'll just see
So I am here in one of the shopping malls in Madrid, El Corte. And right in front of the mall, there is a Christmas market where my friend and I are going to go. But I'll first wait for him inside of the mall to check out what's inside. So basically this is the inside of the mall. So we have luxury shops like Gucci, Prada, Bulgari and other luxury stuff. So let me just check out what's in here. I'm finally with my friend Chris. Say hi, my BFF with the full outfit later. <laughs> We're not prepared. <laughs> We're not prepared of this outfit. <laughs> Going to the Christmas market. So when we entered the Christmas market here in Nuevos Ministerios, we are welcomed by many food stalls, shops, and so many other stalls. Just like here, the one that you see on the left, there are many Christmas decorations that are being sold. And then there's this huge nativity scene where I believe it's one of the main attractions here in the Christmas market. And of course, there are these many shops, like these toy shops for kids, and of course, food stalls, a bunch of different options for food. So they're showing the so-called Portilandia. Anna. <laughs> it's basically for kids, but it's like for everyone. It's like a Christmas presentation from El Corte. Anyway, so we're going to try these famous churros from San Ginés and we will also try to warm up by trying out the hot chocolate. How you make the famous churros in San Here it is. <laughs> then after we had some churros, we went back inside of the mall we to check inside. out some more bags. I know, I love mini bags. It also suits you. I don't like it. No? I, I don't like small like bags. It's not the I don't like small bags, but I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. someday. Went to Kurt Kiger. And look what I found. The multi packets XB bag. And they have these festive bags as well. Very suitable suitable for this festive season. Stumbled upon in this section and apparently it's a Spanish brand as told yeah. by my best friend and this one looks cool. This one can be like a good like alternative for the Lueve bags. This is interesting. What do you guys think? And then we also went out to check some luxury boutiques. See? It's much better. Yeah. I think it's better. Mm-hmm. Like the... Very pretty. Wallet on chain. 1,200. Okay. I really adore and love this crystal card holder. I mean, look at that sparkle. Oh, it's too Oh, detachable. Can I open it? Another. Oh god. <laughs> so after checking out at Prada, we also went out to 
look for more in other luxury boutiques such as in Fendi, Loewe, and then we went to Celine. When crossbody. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what color is this one? Is it sage green or? No, this is green clay. Oh, okay. If I'm going to have a bag from Celine, this would be a good option for me. And then we saw this Teen Triumph bag in Lizard, and we were just amazed because the SA even told us that uh, it takes 18 pieces of materials for this bag to be made. This one's a new release. And so we still did try more bags here in Celine and in other boutiques. And then later on, we decided to head on to the city center. What bag did you like? Celine. Uh -huh. The lizard uh, leather one, right? Yeah. Sorry. That was like great. It is. Like, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so yeah, since I also took some film and video, so he also did. Look, I'll show you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it looks mm. very pretty. Yeah. But, so shout out to our beloved Joan. <laughs> Carl. Who's Carl? The S A. From. No, Celine. her name is Carmen. Oh, Hello, Carmen. Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Thank you. And you're I'm very Joa. nice. Yeah. Say the Kenneman, Joa. To your wallet. Yeah. I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're heading to the city center to Chuka. have some yeah, drinks. Because yeah, to have some drinks. We yeah. are tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're in Seoul. Christmas vibes here in Seoul. So pretty. So this is Seoul, guys. The main part of Madrid. So since we were drawn by the beauties in Nuevos Ministerios, so we are now heading to Galleria Canalejas to check out some more luxury boutiques. So there's the soul over there. So it's just like a one-way street. Mm -hmm. So there are also some luxury shops here. So we might try to check out. So we went a different route. We went downstairs and we took this. We are now taking these stairs because Upstairs, the doors were not opening. So basically, this is the food hall here in Galleria Canilejas. And now we are going to check some luxury shops. Okay, so unfortunately, we did not get in time because they are now closed. So. Hmm. Oh wow, it's so nice and pretty, Christmas decor. Yep, so we were inside Galeria Canalejas and then when we went outside, you are welcomed by this beauty. We have this called Navilus, where it's like a city tour bus to check out the Christmas decor in all of the area of the city just like that one which is very cool so this is the Four Seasons Hotel and their Christmas decor is outstanding in Chueca they also have this Christmas lighting is so basically Chueca is the gay district of Madrid but it's a Thursday night so well maybe people are just starting to get out from their flats and start to party later 
Let's see. So we're currently looking for a bar so we can hang out and have some drinks. Right, madam? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're now going to try to this new bar. That's what the bouncer told us. And we'll see. It says it has free shots and free entrance. It's called Medusa. Cheers! Wait, cheers! Now we're ending the night with a couple of drinks in a few bars where I will show you later on. And of course, some shots. Well, these shots were somehow welcome shots in the different bars we went to. Let's just say we really had so much fun dancing and meeting some other people. Hey guys, so it's day four, my day four here. And now I am just going to shoot some content like OOTD stuff. And later in the evening, I'll be meeting my friends to have another party. This is part of Madrid Rio, so this is the park and right over that bridge I always like to cross there because of its structure. Later I will show it to you guys. So right now we are in Puente de Toledo. So basically this is the bridge in to Toledo. So basically, I really don't have much planned activities because since I've already lived here for quite some time, so I already know some of the places here. And yeah, so in the morning, I just stroll around the city and the end at night, that's where I usually meet my friends because unfortunately they have you know work stuff to do and I'm the only one who's on holiday so yeah a while ago I was up there so that's the Puente de Toledo and let us explore the rest of the park so this is what I miss here in Madrid, like the huge parks that you can just walk around. Unfortunately, I don't have that much time and days left. So I can also share to you guys the beauty of Madrid. But I will try. I'll try. And we're here, one of my favorite spots or bridge here in Madrid. So let me show it to you guys. Ta -da! So I really like the structure of this bridge. And it's a nice background if you wanted to take your OTD shots which I will do today whenever I pass by through this bridge or through the park I always feel calm and refreshed It's one of my favorite malls here. It's called Plaza Rio Dos. So I just quickly checked out what was inside of the mall and then went back home. 
and so we all went to Chris's flat to prepare and have some dinner that he also prepared and then we all went out to clubs and to basically just have fun Excited? Yeah. Yeah, excited? Yeah. Oh, he's a good dancer, so watch out for him. And him, when he has already three or no, two cocktails. Yeah. And a good blower. <laughs> this is definitely one of the highlights of my Madrid trip. Hanging around with my friends and basically just really having so much fun. Good morning, guys. It's um, day five, I think. Well, basically, it's my last full day here in Madrid. And today, I am going to meet one of my closest friends and one of my best ates that I know. And we're going to have lunch in this um, fast food chain called Jollibee. So I don't know you guys if you're so familiar with it, but yeah, and basically last night we did survive, so got home I believe at 6 in the morning already, and still I pulled off to get up and look fresh today, so you'll see where Today we'll take me and I'll share it to you guys later on. So, see you. Bye. So, I am now close to Jollibee where Ate Pinkley is waiting for me. This is my ate, Pinky. My patay gutom ate. Hindi kami patay gutom kasi tatlo ang peach mango pie kami. We have three peach mango pie. Hindi gutom. Lavarn. Yes, laban na. We did start eating lunch and also did some heart-to-heart -heart talk. And so we did stroll around the city and took some OOTD photo shoots, which Ati Pinky and I really love enjoying the most. So my last night here in Madrid came, to which I did enjoy most of the time that I was here, but it's so sad to say that this would be my last day here for now. Today is my day to go back home to Bratislava and yeah it really feels like I just came yesterday and now I'm going back home so well, it was a fun trip anyways um, I'm going to end this vlog for my Madrid trip and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!